Okay, so once you've selected your single fix or whatever pulley system you want, um, you're gonna be looking at this whole idea of, of the data collected for getting your mass to move 0.1 meters, so going from start to finish. In order to get it moving, you go over here onto your control system and apply this force. And you're gonna take it, click on it, pull it up. This is gonna be the value right here, this applied force value. This is what you're gonna call your F of T. So you wanna write that down. This is your F of T value, your force necessary to get it moving at a constant velocity. You're also gonna go up here and see the distance pulled. This is how far your rope had to move in order to get your, your object to move this far. So in this case, it's gonna be 0.1 meters, and that's gonna be your delta X, or your triangle X, your, your distance pulled. So those are the two values you're gonna to wanna to write down. Now there's one more value that you need to write down, and that's gonna be the time. In other words, how long does it take to go from that starting position to that final position? So you're gonna to wanna to use a stopwatch, and I don't have a stopwatch, but I'll use a little timer over here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to reset your system again. So let me get that all set up again. So reset your system. And now you wanna figure out the time it's gonna take. So as soon as you move your applied force control up, up you're gonna to wanna to start the time. So I'm gonna get my stopwatch going and on your marks, get set, go. And I'm gonna use a time and then I'm gonna hit my stopwatch at that point and stop. And you're gonna to wanna to take that time value, whatever you get on your stopwatch, and write that down as your T value. And that's the data collection that you're gonna to need to do for each system. So your force value, your displacement or your, your distance pulled, and the stopwatch time.